Welcome back, folks. If you viewed my earlier segments from Diego Garcia, I'm a long ways from there now. A year has gone by, I've had some medical challenges, and I'm now in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm here in Hawaii Harbor, and I'm now working on a cruise ship, NCL Cruise Lines. And there she is off in the distance. It's a Saturday evening. I'm just here for about an hour. We come here and drop off our passengers and pick up a load of, of new passengers, 2,000 new passengers. And we head on out to the other islands. So there's my home away from home at the moment. So I have about an hour to kill. I'm here in this nice little park trying to see what might bite my line. I've got a concoction of food from the mess hall that I'm trying to use for bait. I've got myself a nice little patch of green grass here where I've uh, perched to uh, try a little bit of fishing. Now, actually, I've been here in the islands now for two months, and uh, you'll be seeing some segments on some fishing around the harbors as well as uh, going out after the big fish in the blue water. Off in the distance I'm listening to some kind of a bird it looks like. Now it's actually a bit breezy out here today. Now I was here last week and checked this little spot out and there were some people fishing here. And uh, uh, we were able to look down in the water through the sun and see all kinds of colorful tropical fishes. So I was hoping I could pull a few of those colorful fishes in. This is not the uh, search for big fish like I like to do. But uh, I thought we would try and see what kind of variety we might be able to pull out. But uh, it's real, it's uh, a bit breezy and I can't see down in the water. So I can't see these fishes. And who knows if they're going to like my collection of goodies that I brought from the chow hall that I'm trying to chum them up with. I guess we'll just have to see. We've got something on that. What the heck? What would you call that? Looks like an eel to me. Not a happy one either. Tell you what, that's one gnarly looking eel. I don't want to get too close to him because it looks like he's got some real teeth. That guy's got some real teeth on him. It's kind of rolled up there. I was snagged up at first and then I got it loose and there he was. I swear, that thing looks like a moray eel. I gotta tell you, this thing's got the big old mouth and a bunch of teeth in it. Oh, the line is tangled up. Oh boy, he's got a hold of my flyers now. Look at that, he's not letting go. <laughs> well, now he won't let go of my flyers. So I can see what I've got going on. I've got a line wrapped around him. Well, wow. Okay. All right, there's only one way I think I can do this. I'm going to have to get the clippers out. Just start cutting. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's going back now. Okay, I have been able to see down in there, and I threw down some uh, some chicken, and some big ones came up. It reminded me of those big old trigger fish or whatever they were from Diego. So we're going to chum some chicken down there. I have no weight. I'm going to free float a little chunk on the hook with my fluorocarbon leader, and we'll see what happens.
strong breeze has come up. I can't see anything in the water. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this in there now. Well, folks, there's more than one way to go fishing. I got tired of that deep sea fishing.